Time for the 49ers Rush Podcast. Here and get him to, to turn the corner and be that guy. Maybe. I think the biggest like hit to uh, Trey Sermon is right after the draft press conference when they drafted TDP. And you had Shanahan and Lynch both said one-two punch. Um, the more you guys you can add, the better. Um, but kind of the physicality that he brings um, gives you a chance to have a very physical one-two punch. We want a one-two punch. Uh, I thought Debo helped us do that towards the end of last year, uh, bringing that in. But you don't want that to be just your one-two punch. One-two punch. And it's don't just have a like two punch with Trey Sermon. Um, we know um, Trey. We, uh, we thought he had a chance last year. Got banged up. Was a little bit behind. Uh, but I'm not holding. Out. I mean, I don't think he can't do it this year. Um, so to add some more competition to him, having guys like Jeff Wilson, Hasty, you guys in our roster, um, and now adding Ty with what Elijah did last year, and we have a very physical one-two punch. The whole time I was like, dude, Trey Sermon's watching this. Like y'all are murdering this dude. And, and then you got Anthony Lynn up there talking about, oh, well, you know, we wanted two guys. And it's just like, oh, like they just kept swinging on this dude. So and, and it's very similar to what they were doing to Iuke, you know, all through training camp. This kind of, you know, all right, let's go through the public. Let's let's see if this dude wants it. Mm. It's it's know, an, it's in, it's interesting how they've played this, because I wasn't uh, Ant and I both on draft day last year were not not big we were not big on this um i remember we had you on not too long after that and you were selling us on the idea of both him and mitchell um yeah i, I thought mitchell was i got about half right i got half you got, right hey, you were you were you were <laughs> half right on it and when we left training camp the first day ant was all over elijah mitchell literally all over elijah mitchell like i was sitting there going look i get what you're saying all the points that he was making i was like i understand what you're saying but he was running with the third team can we because he was he was literally on the on the live stream in the parking lot after afterwards, he's the he was the best running back at camp today. And I was like, Whoa. <laughs> I was I was yeah. like, oh, hyperventilating, like, oh my god, are you are we sure about this? And then you get to week one, and it's it's fruition, Boom. right? It's just it's it's apparent to everybody, and and you understand why. And Ant was seeing it before a lot of people were seeing it. Shoot, I saw what he was talking about, but I was like, uh, can we pump the brakes a little bit? Because I've seen this before as a coach. You've seen that before as a coach and seen it before as a coach. You get a guy out there with certain people in certain groups and he kills. And the minute you get him yeah. out there with someone else, something in that head just clicks, the switch turns off and he doesn't perform the, the same way that you just saw, you know, against lower level competition. So I was like, oh, I want to wait to see. And then week one happened. I was like, all right, you were right. This, this is the dude. He is the guy right now. Um, Trey Sermon has not been that guy when he's had the ball in his hand. Bobo, thank you so much, my friend, for the gift. He said, we need all five running backs for sure because they drop like flies. One name I will throw out to you, uh, Mason. Jordan, Jordan Mason. Mason, okay? <laughs> this dude is – here. here's what's sad. Maybe not sad. You remember where we had like three straight years of everybody having their favorite undrafted free agent running back where we were like all fell in love with them and like, this is the guy. And mm -hmm. it started with like Matt Breida and all that stuff. Like – Mason's flying under the radar because we have Elijah Mitchell, because we have TDP, because we had the guy last year, you know, value wise or draft wise, Trey Sermon. Mm -hmm. Y'all need to pay attention to Mason because, and I think this is a reason why the 49ers might be able to get lucky and only have three, much like our GM Alex here set up for us, is because you can slide Mason in. He was an undrafted free agent. You can slide him in and be on that practice squad. And that dude, he's TDP light. And I mean, that's he's exactly the same body style, running type, all those things. Uh, actually, has more workload than TDP had at LSU at Georgia Tech. So you can keep some of those guys around. I think I don't know. Do you agree there? Yes, actually, this was actually the point I was making when we talked about this a little bit. Was I am not willing to put any eggs in the in the Jordan Mason basket right now because I haven't seen it like in person. I haven't physically got to watch it with my eyes. So it's one of those things where it's like I have his name written down. It's highlighted. There's a star next to it. And it's like we need to take like pay very close attention when we get in the camp because his progress could actually determine what they decide to do with, at the running back room. Because if he is showing all the flashes that people were talking about and OTAs and everything with early stuff with the, with the rookies, then, hey, you know what? Maybe you can get away with three guys early in the season. Put this guy in the practice squad. Let him sit there very quietly and work on his craft, get better, work with this with this group, give the Niners defense a good look and practices. And if something happens to one of your running backs during the season, hey, this is not a big deal because if this were any other year, 
we would have had this guy on the 53 man roster, but yeah. because it was this specific year with the O line the way it was, we shirt our bets up with the O line. We we hit this guy away, and we can call this guy up now and feel really great about our running back room. And I think another thing that's important is we'll get to see this play out because here's the issue with the preseason: you got to run the ball, and so you don't cut running backs 100%. on the first or second cut. You don't because you got to have those back end guys carry the ball. So we're going to see. You're going to get to see it. Um, and it's going to play out. Oh, Zachary, this is maybe the best endorsement I've ever had in my career, my short career. Um, thank you, Zachary. He says, great thing about being a, a creator of content, you only have to be right half of the time. I'll take it, baby. No <laughs> lies in that statement. There's no lies will, in that statement. I will take it. Uh, I'm going to make a shirt out of that. I'll tell you what, <laughs> man, I'll sell that. 49 is Rush right. Podcast, right half the time. Half the time. <laughs> Chance to have a very physical one-two punch.